Okay, so for our next step, um, we've got our filtered styrene monomer here, and then we've got pre-weighed vials of the, this way, <laughs> tempo and BPO. <laughs> and so we're gonna first uh, pipette into the tempo. And for this example, we're just gonna do five mils for both, but we'll give you data for the two different sets. Oh, <laughs> and we'll swirl that around to dissolve there. And I'll put that one aside. And now pour our remaining five mils into our other tempo. Give it a little swirly whirly. And now we've got our two. Keeping track of which one's which. So now we'll add the BPO. Now we'll add the BPO to our solution. And give it another little swirly. We'll add them to our round bottoms. We put some aluminum foil over the oil just so that nothing will fall into the super hot oil while we're getting things set up. And we'll lower our thermometers down until they're inside, but not touching the bottom. Surprise, there's the oil. Right now we're letting the argon purge the system for two minutes. We can talk you through the setup while that's happening. Um, so there's a lot of things going on here, but we've got uh, water coming in through and back here, coming in at the bottom and then out at the top. That's our cooling system on this condenser. And then we just have it synced uh, so it flows down in the circuit to this one, down and up, condensing that. 
and our thermometer coming through here. Argon is coming in through the top and down into the round bottoms and back up. And we've got our thermometers and our round bottoms. And we've got them set up on a uh, lab jack so we can easily lower the round bottoms into our oil bath. And then the back, we've got a thermocouple that's hooked up to the hot plate to keep that temperature of the oil uniform. Time to lower them. So we're lowering just until the liquid in the flask is level with the oil and our stir bars are going there. Now you'll be able to see the reaction happen. Look at that, we're all done with the first one. So we're gonna raise sample one out. And then move it away to cool for five minutes. from the hot plate. And we're going to wipe off the oil with some hexanes. Which you can't really see me doing, but I'm doing it. We're going to leave the other sample in for 15 more minutes, but we're going to start showing you with our camera uh, the next steps that we're doing with sample one. So sample two just looks like this for 15 more minutes. 